Let's take a look at the SPY futures. That ticker symbol is going to be forward slash ES. So fantastic day on the on the overall markets. <clears throat> we did get a little bit of a bounce. ES is up 73 uh, points on the day, just about one and a half, one point seven five percent So what I want to look at here, going into tomorrow, we know we have a uh, Fed meeting coming up. So you know, just kind of eliminating all of the outside noise and just kind of taking a look at things from a technical level here. Um, last thing that I would want to do this late in the day with only an hour left of the market is to go long, right? Um, here's, here's a reason why. Going long this late in the day, especially on a market that is in a sell cycle market, in a bear market, um, you know, you're going to have those dead cat bounces. You're going to have those green days. You're going to have opportunities to go ahead and uh, make some money to the long side, intraday scalping or day trading. But the reason why I don't want to go long towards the end of the day, especially going into an economic event like tomorrow, especially um, coming into a supply. So if we just take a look at the hour, hour uh, chart here, 4244, you know, that 4249 is the 200 day moving average on the one hour time frame. You can see we had a great bounce coming off the bottom range here. These channels I've had put in, you know, for the last couple of days, uh, those white lines that you see on the screen, not something that I just put on today. But these are the levels that I know that we can trade. You know, if we got over that 41.85, we had room to run 42.44, and that's exactly where we're coming up now. We do have a nice little hammer candle that's coming. But what I want to take a notice of and want to kind of point out to you guys is that if you guys completely uh, get long here going into tomorrow, and let's say we have some sort of gap open where you know we're green and you don't you don't take those profits and you don't sell, and then we completely start to roll over. We've got a lot of room to the downside uh, and you're going to really start kicking yourself in the behind, um, you know, kind of asking yourself why you did that. Whatever you like today, you're going to love tomorrow. So if you like the stocks today, you like the market today, you like the way that the futures are trading today, you're going to love them tomorrow. And what that means is if you just sit back and be patient, you know, you're not going to miss a move. Guys, the stock market's open five days a week. It's been open longer than uh, I've been on this earth and it's, it's it'll probably be uh, here long after that I'm on this earth. So the point that I'm trying to make is that you, you don't need to really FOMO into these things. What you need to have is a game plan. You need to have a strategy. You need to understand price action, supply and demand. Um, you know, definitely I would recommend if you guys want to trade futures, come to my discord, trade with me. Uh, I'll give out these levels intraday. We can kind of go over this uh you know, as it's playing out live, if you guys are looking for a strategy, evolutiontraders.com is my website. Uh, become a lifetime member, get some mentorship, get some some coaching. The best uh, I feel the best thing that you can do for yourself when it comes to trading is investing in the skill set. Once you learn the skill set, no one can ever take that away from you. So, um, you know, just think about that. No one can ever take away your set of skills, your knowledge. Once you understand something, no one can take that away from you. But if you don't understand uh, what's going on and you kind of just try to play these charts because, you know, you try to buy long because we're green at the end of the day or you try to short because you feel like we're overbought or, you know, you, you try to short because, you know, oh, the market, you know, it's not going to go any higher. You know, this is normally when you're going to get your face ripped off nine times out of ten. But if you guys are looking to trade futures, maybe you guys understand a little bit of the concept or you guys are trying to learn how to trade futures, but you guys maybe don't have the capital. Uh, I would I would suggest go to the link in my description where um, you can uh, I'm talking about getting funded. So I work with a U.S. based prop firm. Um, you know, basically you can get funded up to one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. All you have to do is kind of just prove that you understand risk management, prove that you understand uh, setups, you know, hit a couple of price target goals and, you know, you guys would be on your way to being funded, um, definitely it's a lot easier and a lot less stressful when you're trading uh, firm capital versus your own capital. You're not so stressed. You have enough bankroll to be able to get into the markets and day trade and make some money. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if you got 500 bucks, I'm not saying you can't make money, but it's a lot harder than if you have 50,000. So some of the levels that I have on look for ES tomorrow is going to be 42.49. That's the 200 day moving average on the one hour time frame. I want to clear out that level, and then I want to confirm that. That's gonna, that for me is going to be uh, bullish. We're gonna we're gonna want to get long. We're gonna want to scalp long. <clears throat> if we see any sort of rejection right around that forty two forty nine, we're gonna have room down forty one eighty two. I will look for a short position through uh, that level uh, and kind of clear up those profits um, right around that twenty day moving average. 
one level that I do want to look at for tomorrow in case the market does decide to get aggressive to the downside is going to be that 4130 area. That would be losing today's lows. If we lose today's lows, we're going to have a lot more room down, uh, potentially into the 4000 range. Uh, I still think that the S&P 500, that the SPIs, uh, C4000, C400, um, before this market kind of makes uh, a reversal to the upside. So even though today is a fantastic trading day, uh, we can't let that, you know, kind of pull the wool over our eyes. Definitely want to stay on your toes. Uh, you know, one green day out of a series of two months, two and a half, three months worth of red days doesn't change anything. You know, nothing changes. The only thing that changed today is we should have been scalping along. Um, but going into tomorrow, nothing changes. We're back to ground zero. Yet again, uh, we're still under levels of macro supply under the 20 and 200 day moving average on the shorter time frames on the triple Qs as well as uh, the, the spy and ES, like, let's see exactly where on the daily time frame that we're, that we're at. Yeah. So even, even on, the, on the ES futures, we're still well under the 20 day moving average. I mean, until we get over 4,300, nothing gets bullish in the spy, um, other than, than a dead cat bounce here today, pretty much just an inside bar day. We haven't even taken out yesterday's highs. Um, I would assume that 42, 44 taking out yesterday's highs would give us an opportunity to get into that 4,300. So we got about 50, 60 points worth of upside there. This is definitely the level I would be looking for for rejection going into tomorrow. Obviously, any close over the 4,300, that's a that's a big, pretty big uh, range into the next area of supply. 4,460, that's going to present per, uh, really, really good uh, trading opportunities to the long side. Definitely anything over 4460, we start to get a little bit more bullish. And maybe we can start calling this a little bit of a double bottom down here. Maybe we can start calling this the bottom. But we cannot call this the bottom yet until we reclaim the 200-day moving average. It's as simple as that. Obviously, if we are going to go down uh, below 4... Uh, 4100. We will see 4000. That will be the next area that's going to catch us, uh, act as a little bit of support. So 4100 to the downside, definitely want to keep that in mind. 42, 44 to the upside, keep that in mind as well. 4300 is price target one. Uh, price target two would be 4460. Obviously, all not expecting that in one trading session, but you know, just kind of piece together your days from there. I hope this video kind of helped you guys. If you guys want to trade with me each and every single day live, join the Discord. Um, link in the in the description if you're looking for a strategy my strategy you're looking for help you're looking for coaching you're looking for live voice chatting uh definitely evolutiontraders.com become a lifetime member if you guys want to get your hands on a hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of firm capital to trade and we can sit here and trade these all day uh live definitely check the link in the description it's going to require you to do a little bit of homework. It's going to require you to be a little bit disciplined. It's going to require you to actually have a little bit of skills, right? So definitely, I would not invest, uh, you know, in going that route if you if you do not plan on taking this business seriously. Because the moment you think that this game is easy and you treat this as, you know, some sort of lottery or some sort of um, casino, you are going to get destroyed. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I will see you guys all on the next trading video. I'm going to see you guys. I hope to see new people in the Discord this week. I'm very, very excited to always work with new traders. Our trading room is growing. We're doing big things in 2022. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of traders are becoming profitable more and more each and every single day. Um, it's kind of like, you know, as they're learning, they don't really... Uh, really necessarily need my help on a trade by trade basis anymore. And that's the overall goal. Um, you never want to have someone completely hold your hand each and every single day, tell you where to buy and tell you where to sell. You want to possess that skill set on your own so you do not need help from anyone else. But in the beginning, it's going to take a little bit of help. It's going to take a little bit of pushing and it's going to take a little bit of discipline on your part. Um, just keep that in mind as well. Until next time, guys, I'm going to see you guys all in the next trading video.